Brothers and sisters, today we have gathered to welcome a new member into our fold. They have decided to walk the difficult path of the healer and decided that we are to be his kin. Let me tell you how you are to be a white mage. For we white mages have one purpose only. And that is pleasing our lord, the blood lilies. And the lilies are most pleased when you become drenched in blood. I will bathe in the blood of my enemies. What? B but then why do we wear white? It'll leave nasty stains. Ha! <laughs> Spoken like every initiate before you. We have white robes in order for them to be stained. We wish the blood of our enemies to be shown clearly. This once was a white robe, but I have been bathed in blood and gore. This action pleases the blood lilies. Our friends must be healed. We must ensure to extend their life and prolong their suffering. The sweet release of death shall never come when a white mage is around. We say to them, You will die when the dark gods will it, and not a moment before. This is our ultimate purpose. We exist only to serve our dark gods, the blood lilies. We will bring glory to the dark gods. I will find victims. <laughs> to anyone who ever sees me as the healer in any content. Your life is mine! You belong to me! Our opener is very difficult. It takes an extremely long time to master. Seconds of training are required. So here we go. Before the pool, start casting glare so that it hits just as the tank pulls the boss. Cast Dia and weave a size and presence of mind. Now, gleg leg 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 leg. Let's go over your full kit to make sure you can properly understand it. Then we will finish your initiation to the cult of the blood lilies. Cure one. Useless when you unlock cure two. It goes in the trash. Trap skill with that trap trait. Medica 1, useless when you unlock Medica 2. Raise, hopefully you will never have to use it, but we all know you'll be casting this at least 10 times per instance. <laughs> oh dear. Fluid Aura, I forgot this button even existed. Cure 2. A powerful GCD heal. Use this if tetragamation is on cooldown and you don't have any lilies. Or use it if a DPS did a stupid and took avoidable damage. Cure 2 of shame them. Presence of mind. Your button. Now you get to press glare slightly faster. Wow! What an exciting DPS rotation. Regen. Now even less healing is required. Cure free, the best AoE heal in the game. If it wasn't for its very small radius. Unfortunately due to social distancing this will never hit the entire party. Holy, the best AoE in the game for dungeons. Hands down, not even a competition. You stun all the mobs for 7 seconds. You basically have a better version of Super Bolide in your AoEs for every single pack pool. An added bonus is that you get to blind your entire party. Medica 2. Hey look, a better version of Medica that heals more. Wow! Benediction. Glorious. Glorious Benediction. Use this often. Allow a tank's health to go as low as possible, then poof! 
glorious relief for them. Try to avoid getting the too good to use syndrome. Think often. Here is my benediction. Asylum. Put down a very powerful AoE regen bubble that also reduces incoming damage. Then watch as everyone stands right next to it or even moves out of it. It's... it's like trying to herd cats. <sighs> and my friends all wonder why I go a little loopy when I play healer. Besides, a only off global cooldown DPS button. Pretty much just press it immediately when it's available. This little heal, yeah that's just a bonus. Thin Air, a fantastic mana management tool that you don't need to, but probably will, be pressing on cooldown because you'll be reviving so much. Tetragrammation, instant cast powerful OGCD heal with a short-ish cooldown. The first button you should be pressing when you need to heal a single target. Divine Benison. Use on cooldown to get the maximum use out of it. Free off global cooldown mitigation in a pretty nice short cooldown shield. It's the only shield in our toolkit. But remember... You are my shield. So if you're a tank, use your cooldowns. This should never have to be saved to save you during a tank buster. Plenary Indulgence. A very powerful AoE healing modification button that nobody ever uses. This adds an extra 200 potency on top of the AoE heal. Every single heal you do for 10 seconds. So basically when this is up you become the AoE healing god. Really this is your AoE healing button. Dia, your damage over time. Keep it up. Always. No exceptions. Glare. The button you'll be pressing around 80% of the time. Temperance. Pretty wings to fool your party into believing you're some divine being there to protect them. Sure, you grant them a 10% damage reduction and it greatly boosts your healing abilities. So yeah, it's a good ability I guess. Now, for the most important actions you have. The lilies. A flatus solus and a flatus rapture. Feed the lilies on a single target. Feed the lilies on an AoE around you. These two skills will waken the dark god a flatus misery. The blood Lily, do you feel it, brother? Do you feel it calling to you? Yes, embrace them. Join us, brother. The blood Lily calls. Behold the visage of chaos. Feel the blood god's rage. Blood for the blood god. And those are the white mage skills. Though I suppose we should very briefly touch on the roll skills too. Rescue. The best skill in the game. I love this button. Seriously, it is so much fun. See an AoE? Rescue. See a ledge? Rescue. See a black mage standing in their ley lines? Rescue. I just really wish it had a shorter cooldown. But I feel like that may be too much fun.
Ooh, where are you, friend? <laughs> and there you have it. Drench yourself in sanguine, brother. For now, you are initiated into the cult of the Blood Lily. Blood for the Blood Lilies. Praise the Dark Gods. But for now, goodbye my friends. And have a great day. Now he